Ik ben er ook bij. Af te leiden, man, ben je bij stof voor jou, oké? Ik ben zo goed fight, shake hands en was erbij. Right away we see the height advantage that Kuniaski has over Spong. Both men have extremely strong corners. There's Ivan Hippoli giving last minute instructions. Uh, one of the great trainers in Holland. And of course, Tyron Spong has Rob Kamen and Rashad Evans, the former UFC light heavyweight champion, in his corner. And Spong presses forward. We pretty much know that Spong is going to want to throw some punches, but he landed a good left low kick there. Yeah, that's what Bunyowski said. He said he's lost his, uh, his speed in kicking now. He's mostly just a puncher, not his bigger man. He said he's going to kick the puncher. And we're seeing Bunyowski throw a lot of kicks right off the bat. And a left kick landed upside the right arm of Spong. Good! Oh. Right, that's a beautiful left front kick by Spong. Right up the middle. It landed perfectly. Nice counter. Perfect sweep move. Spawn. Oh, nice work. Beautiful punch combination to the body and then to the head by Tyrone Spong. Spong keeping Bunyaski trapped in the corner momentarily with two minutes left here at round number one. There's the leg grab again. Hopefully he doesn't get a point deduction for doing that. Hopefully because this is not an MMA fight. Well, you can't hold the foot though. Yeah. You can grab and hold it for a second, yeah. but then you, you have to let go or do something. Yeah, you get a counter immediately. Yeah. yeah. Nice kick for kick. Swamp doing some nice inside leg kicks, round kicks there. Just almost took the legs out for Bunowski. He's making it quite well, and the hands. It's a one, two, three with that liver shot to end things for Spong. Spong has been a sharp puncher, one minute left. Bunyaski hasn't been able to find his distance or his rhythm yet here in round number one. Well, Bunyaski said he was going to feel him out in round number one, and number two he was going to go for it. I don't know if he's felt it out yet, because... It looks like Spock's coming on. Well, he's felt his punches, that's for sure. Spock is just a sharper fighter right now. Way the playing the way he came. Spong with some head movement, standing on the outside, probably confident that he's got the round of the bag. But Bernie Bunyavsky is very hard to finish. Got one of the greatest defenses in the game. Bunyavsky blasting away with the right roundhouse kick to the body. Then the left. against 
the ropes. Bob doing something very clever, holding the foot up on his arm instead of just holding it. Two of our greatest heavyweights here in glory. Wow. We've got more great heavyweights coming at you. April 6th, Gokan Saki comes in to face Daniel Gita, and that's the number two and number three heavyweights in glory in Istanbul, April 6th. Don't miss it. GloryWorldSeries.com, the pay-per-view will be available. Gunyaski covering with a jab. Because further down the road, Frank, both these men are thinking, well, oh, where, where am I going to stand in the rankings? Where am I going to stand in that heavyweight Grand Slam tournament? Oh, my Lord! Massive right hand sends Gunyaski sleeping through the bottom leg. He's not moving. Tyrone Stone has knocked out Remy Bunyaski here in round number two. Bob's punching power comes through. Bunyaski said he would kick the puncher, said he would knock him out in the second round, but instead falls victim to a massive right hand that sends him careening through the bottom rope. Bunyaski just could never get out of first gear in the first and second round.